Hey guys, how you doing today? Uh, another video for you guys, uh, bringing some attention back to the Kyocera Hydro Icon, because um, this phone is uh, becoming uh, not super popular, but quite popular out there. And uh, because it has no development at this point, uh, there's no custom ROMs to show for this device. But it doesn't mean that you can't customize it and, you know, um, enjoy it, especially for those out there who are heavy into modifying their Android devices. Um, so, as you guys know, my Kyocera Hydro Icon is rooted, but there's no custom recovery or anything like that. So, how could I get the most out of it um, as far as customizing and giving it a different look? Um, I'm going to walk you guys through it right now, just uh, some of the stuff that I have, just kind of give you guys maybe some ideas of, you know, how you guys can make the icon uh, more customizable. So uh, this is what I have on my icon. Um, lock screen, uh, still the same. I haven't done nothing to the lock screen, so it's still um, pretty much the same. And uh, I do have a uh, dash clock um, downloaded, so that's what I'm using here as my clock. Um, it, I'm in the spirit of Halloween right now, so I have a minimal type um, spooky background. And I'm still using the Google Now launcher. So I still have like my Google Now information and right up over here, just some cards that show up of my interest. Uh, everything is still done in folders. Um, I don't know, I guess I'm uh, kind of OCD about these things. I like Google Apps all to be in one folder, stuff that's non-Google related, you know, uh, to be in its own folder. Things I consider tools uh, like Root Explorer, Exposed uh, Installer, and uh, Settings all that kind of stuff flashlight in a folder and then uh, boost applications like boost zone uh, boost music and uh, the boost mobile uh, wallet application all in one and down here are the main uh, apps that I normally would need to use like phone of course uh, hangouts for messaging and uh, Google voice and all that good stuff and um, Chrome and camera and then on here I have some other stuff like uh, power widget set up right there, eco mode widget set right there to let me know what's on and off, toggled. Uh, Big Barn World, a game that I'm playing right now just for fun, and uh, Wi-Fi tether uh, application right there. And uh, if I really need to get to my emails really quick, there's a widget on my third page. So um, if you guys hadn't noticed already, uh, all the applications are sort of themed. I'm using the Flat Tastico. Uh, you can buy it in the Google Play Store, or you can get it on uh, right there, Black Market Alpha. And uh, I have um, Exposed installed. So right here, you can use um, Exposed, you know, to basically download different modules run the modules which will then uh, do certain things like right here I have uh, advanced power menu and Unicon. Unicon allows me to theme my um, apps so they have like this flat minimal theme to them. Uh, that's how they look. And every time you download a new app you just restart the launcher and that app will be themed. And then of course um, I also have uh, the advanced power menu so now when I um, when I hit the power button, now I have a screenshot, reboot, disable mobile data, and power off. And in uh, airplane mode, I can toggle um, for it to go to vibration mode and silent, um, sound on, sound off. So that's uh, a lot better, especially with screenshot. Instead of having to, you know, <clears throat> like press down the volume down and power button at the same time and wait to see if it takes a screenshot, you just simply tap and then I'll snap that photo. That's real easy uh, to do, Not a nice way of accessing it. Um, so yeah, those are the modules that I'm running right now, nothing else really, uh, but I'm going to play around with some stuff later on. But uh, this is one way you can really just customize your Kyocera Hydro Icon using the Exposed Installer. And you could do certain things as far as like theming your icon, so it, it does. No, you know, not not a huge skin change, but just you know, some light touch-ups just to make it kind of look nice. Um, as you guys can see right there, with uh, all the, the the applications like Maps, Gmail, and all that, songs, uh, they're all themed, uh, cameras themed, and I like uh, the Flatastico icon pack, so it's really nice. 
And you could use just about any icon pack you want using Expose Installer and also using Unicon. Both you can gain, um, you can download Expose Installer by Google searching it and you'll find a bunch of uh, websites that have it, download and install. Uh, but you have to be rooted to use it, so um, it's not just for any device right off the bat. And um, Unicon you can find in the Black Market Alpha and you can use it to theme all your icons with different icon packs from like uh, say those that are for like the 360 launcher or for Nova launcher etc uh, they can be used without having those launchers installed so that's always great so um, there is another thing you can do uh, as far as camera but you know I, I kinda do it if I want to use like the um, the Google camera um, see how it says right here that it tells me that uh, unfortunately the camera has stopped uh, there is a way you can use the Google camera on this device even though it's running 4.3 Jelly Bean and that's uh, using titanium backup which I'm going to show you guys here even though it's not really an app review but you can use a uh, titanium backup and I have the full version again um, I got it accessible through black market alpha and what you're going to do is you're going to go all the way down to um, Google Play services let me see if I can find it uh, da, 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 da. Okay, it's down here. Let's see. Okay. Um, Google Play Services right here. So we're going to tap that. We're going to freeze it. So now that it's frozen, um, now the Google Camera app will work. See? So I have Google Camera. It does not have. Um, Photosphere or panorama, but it has lens blur camera and video and lens blur does work and of course you have all these little options uh, Not there but there like you know the reverse and Auto flash and, and grid and all that stuff um, The reason why I really wouldn't like suggest you know unless you guys want to really play around with the um, With uh, the Google camera on your device. I really want to suggest it to be used as your main um camera only because like even after I defrost the Google Play it will still continue to work but after a certain amount of time the Google Play services does catch it and then you know when you try to launch it like say you know you're at a you're at a club you want to take a photo or whatever you kind of like you know you open the application it's gonna say that it's uh, not compatible or that um, unfortunately it can't open the app because Google Play will eventually cat you know catch it and then it will not allow it to run I don't know why I don't know, just open it up for 4.3 Jelly Bean already since it can run on here, but I don't know. Google's weird like that sometimes. So anyways, that's pretty much what I have on my Kyocera Hydro Icon. If you guys like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up because it helps out my channel. And if you have not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button to see more videos like this and other ones on my channel, especially a back catalog of all my videos. If you guys want to be interested in looking at those, I have a huge uh, amount already so far of some really neat stuff you guys want to check out. And um, thank you guys for watching, and you guys have a blessed week.